Once upon a time, a boy of 12 left home for lack of education in pursuit of a utopian life in Europe, which was like a chorus sung in every conversation in Ghanaian society. Everywhere the streets were gold, milk flows from taps like water. The journey to Europe had begun, meandering his way through dead bodies in the desert and the Mafia. At the belly of death, the voyage had begun. The tales told at home did not include the cruelty, the risk, and the death that awaited patrons of the journey. Who would have dared? If only someone had told him the reality. If only he had had access to education. If only he had had access to information about the ordeal. Usman Umar would not have undertaken a five-year trekking journey to the Wonderland. Information has become the most important fabric, weaving and shaping our society, our communities, and the world. Information and communication technology has become the bedrock of global development. Lack of these means the prevalence of illiteracy, human and social underdevelopment. The speed with which information communication technology, ICT, is developing and its impact on socio-economic activities cannot be overemphasized. It is imperative that Africa is not excluded from this technological revolution. It is a stark fact that the use of ICT has been integrated into virtually every facet of commerce, education, governance, and civic activity in developed countries, and has become a critical factor in creating wealth worldwide. Unfortunately, in Africa, ICT has barely taken a foothold. Computer illiteracy and a lack of access to ICT are widely recognized as an increasingly powerful obstacle to the economic, civic and political development of Africa. According to the UN ICT Task Force, nowhere is the digital divide more pronounced than in countries of the African continent. Africa is the most unconnected in an increasingly connected world. This is where Ghana as a country finds itself. It is against this background that the ICT Literacy Project was designed by NASCO, Nuhu and Usman collaboration. The ICT Literacy Project is designed to offer the best of training, knowledge, skill and information to students in particular and the general public at large. The organization is founded on the premise that universal primary education is vital to the global community. Our mission is to provide academic resources and to support educational initiatives in underserved communities by strengthening collaboration between African educators and their global counterparts. Three centers of learning have been established. 8,241 students have passed through our ICT training programs in introduction to ICT, intermediate and advanced courses, and 3,298 currently studying at the centers. Some of our students are gainfully employed in secretarial portfolios, graphic designing, web designing, as well as applying the knowledge in ICT in other areas of study as they cling on to the educational ladder. Hitherto, these students ended in the streets with no skills and eventually embark on the journey of no return, chasing the Europe dream. Support from Labdu, UPC, Nibus Denmark will see the establishment of more centers this summer. The significance of our work has attracted the attention of open arms and operative on the Mediterranean Sea to cushion us on our sensitization program and tackle the migration crisis at source. Other projects include educational accessibility for students living with disabilities, beekeeping as economic empowerment for women, and volunteering. In an increasingly pronounced population growth, the activities of NASCO Foundation may be meager or probably just a tiny spark. But we may never know when the spark becomes a flame.